Beep, 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 boop. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Casual Lad. We are in Military Tycoon today. In fact, I will be releasing quite a few videos on Military Tycoon this week due to the recent update. But today's video is on the Nuke Armor. I will show you more than 20 locations of the Plutoniums. And we will also take a look at how the Nuke Armor fares. First thing first, you need to activate the quest to even see the Plutoniums. And you need 35 Rebirth to do the quest. So it is a long term thing and it's not going to disappear next week. The Plutoniums are not respawnable. They disappear when you claim them. But there are more than 20 Plutoniums around the map. In fact, I'm going to show you 22 of them. Let's go. This is the first Plutonium. It is in the center of the city where the loot crate drops. It is a yellow barrel with the text Nuke Armor. I am facing the Infinity Tower now. All the direction that I'll be using will be based on this. Facing the Infinity Tower. So if I say to the right of Infinity Tower, it means my right when facing the Infinity Tower. We will go clockwise direction around the Infinity Tower. But first, we have a Plutonium on the 18th floor of the Infinity Tower. Yep, behind the bar counter. There is a Plutonium behind the Infinity Tower. Yep, right here where you usually place your B-52. Go to this building on the right of the Infinity Tower. Go up to the roof. One here. Go to the building on the right of the bank. Just beside the elevator. Go to this shack beside the building you are in previously. There is a Protonium here. Look at this. It says Uranium-25. So there are more than 20 Plutoniums around the map. Probably 25 to 30 of them. Yeah, and I'm showing you 22 of them. Continue clockwise and you will reach a small building. It is at the 3 o'clock position to the Infinity Tower. Just beside a triangular building. Here it is. Continue clockwise and all the way to the end of the path. There is a plutonium here. Now I'm not going to claim this plutonium, otherwise you won't be able to see the last few. There is another plutonium nearby. It is between a fortress and a city. There is a crane nearby too. And the last plutonium I found in the city is just on the building that is left of the infinity tower. Okay, we are gonna move outwards. There is one plutonium in each fortress. That makes 4 plutoniums in total. I also want to use this opportunity to name the fortresses because there are no clear landmarks in this map. Unlike the previous maps, the names will be crucial in all the other plutoniums and scavenger hunt in the future on my channel this unique fortress. Let's name it Fortress 1. We go clockwise and this is Fortress 2. There is also Fortress 3 and Fortress 4 behind the city. Let's go to Fortress 1 first. A plutonium here. Fortress 2. Whoops, it's not in the middle. I forgot. It's at a side. Yep, right here. Fortress 3. Yep, at this side too. Okay, I gotta spawn another vehicle. We were at Fortress 3 and we are going to Fortress 4. The plutonium is in the middle of Fortress 4. Okay, we are back 
here, we are gonna go around the outer area of the map. There is one at the loot crate zone near Fortress 1. Gotta oof the NPCs. Whoops, you can't go in. So try to claim the plutonium from the outside. This is Fortress 2. There is a small heart beside Fortress 2. Check inside and there is a plutonium. Let's go to the gas station between Fortress 2 and 3. Okay, not really the gas station, but the heart beside the gas station. Let's go to the gas station between Fortress 3 and 4. Yep, right here. Oh my goodness, the Astrum is stuck. Gotta respawn again. Okay, so we were at this gas station earlier. Go up the hill beside it. There is another plutonium. Make sure you take out the NPCs first. This is Fortress 4. Go to the village nearby of Fortress 4. You should be able to see the plutonium. Okay, let's check out the plutoniums. We should have claimed 19 of them by now. And I left one out earlier. Let's respawn. We were at the village earlier. Continue clockwise and you will find 3 huts between Fortress 1 and 4. There is also a gas station nearby. There are 2 plutoniums in 3 of the huts. One here, which I'm not gonna claim, otherwise I can't show you the other one. And another one here. So that makes up a total of 22 plutoniums and I claim 20 of them. Once you claim all 20 of them, the barrels will disappear. Now you know why I left out the other two barrels. Okay, let's go back. The nuke armor is available. Wow, the nuke armor has the same health bonus and speed as the skull armor. With the additional protection against nukes. Now, let's see. <laughs> Deployable nukes. Can the hazmat suit protect you from nukes? Beep, 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 boom! Oh, I... I died. I was expecting to survive it. Felt kinda... Cheated by it. What about the Super B-52? Now I am guessing the new armor can survive the nuke from Super B-52, otherwise it would have been useless. Yep, survived it. Took about 80% of the health. Not bad. What about strategic or server nuke? Hmm, okay, I got nobody to launch a nuke on me. Can I launch it on myself? Oh yes, I can, I can. Right. Let's go out. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Boom! Ah, yes, I survived it. Took about 80% of my health as well. Pretty much the same as the Super B-52. Let me show you side by side. Pretty sure server nuke is the same, except it targets multiple players. Now on to the stats. We saw that the stats is exactly the same as the skull armor. Let's test it. I will be dropping bombs from the gold F-35. Yep, pretty much the same damage. And they have the same walking speed too. Okay, so the only nuke that the nuke armor cannot survive is the deployable nuke. And it is sort of an upgrade of the skull armor too. 